Hi folks, today I have a couple of these watt cycle 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate batteries on my workbench and they were sent to me by watt cycle for a review. I'm going to be using these in a specific project. Right now I'm just going to do a test on them and I'm going to look at the specifications and I'm going to make sure they perform well before I use them in any specific project. Okay, let's take a look at watt cycles website real quick. So the battery that they sent me is the 12 volt 100 amp hour group 24 size battery. And you can see it does have a low temperature cutoff protection. And it has uh, electrical vehicle grade A plus LiPo4 cells. So that's good. 4,000 cycles. The BMS on this particular unit is 100 amps. And the capacity of each battery is 1.28 kilowatt hours. And it's expandable for a maximum of four series for a parallel. And here's some pictures of what the battery looks like. You can see how the cells are laying on their side. Prismatic cells and the BMS is on the top. and the max discharge temperature and the minimum discharge temperature. So they should cut themselves off if they get too cold. That's good. I won't be freezing mine. I always keep my batteries indoors, so I don't have a problem there. But if you take your batteries out in very cold winter conditions, that low temperature cutoff is pretty important. And according to the website, it comes with a five-year warranty and a 30-day money-back guarantee. Here is the bench test setup for the 12 volt, 100 amp hour watt cycle batteries. On the left, you can see my 1200 watt pure sine wave inverter, low frequency, that's currently powered on. The watt cycle batteries are in parallel, and I've got my Make Sky Blue charge controller energized. There are solar panels outside that are feeding it. It's been a bit cloudy, but I'm getting some power. I'm using a Coulomb counting amp meter to monitor the power flow in and out of the watt cycle batteries. Once they are fully charged, I can then proceed with the bench test and do a full cycle. In order to test them, I'm going to be using a variety of different loads powered through that inverter there. And I want to start with a full charge, so that's what I'm waiting for right now. And when the charge is complete, then I'll start the test. All right, the watt cycle batteries appear to be completely full. I'm going to go ahead and switch off my solar charge controller because the batteries are going to be running alone without any extra power coming in for this test. I have set my Coulomb counting amp meter to 200 amp hours, which is correct. Two 12 volt 100 amp hour batteries in parallel. And so that should give me 200 amp hours. And this meter will help me keep track of how much actual capacity the watt cycle batteries have inside of them. The test has just started and you can see we're at 98% and it estimates 5 hours are left. Of course this number here can change as the time goes forward. Air conditioners do vary their power requirements over time depending on the conditions. But it's going to be probably about 5 hours. And that's assuming that there's actually 200 amp hours of storage. And the terminal voltage of the battery terminal itself is 13 volts, 13.09. And I'll be keeping an eye on that as the test progresses. Well, I'm glad I have this air conditioner running. It's really, really hot. It's been getting over 100 degrees. And I've been up working in the attic in my building. It's really hot up there. Anyway, 177 amp hour. It's like 4 hours and 47 minutes. So, I'm just going to let the test run and we'll see what happens. I'll check back in towards the middle or the end. The test has passed the halfway point. It is currently 12.95 volts at the battery terminals. According to the battery meter, there's 82 amp hours, 41%, and 2 hours and 18 minutes left. I'll check back in at the end of the test. A real quick update, down to 49 amp hours, projected 1 hour and 21 minutes and 24%. And the battery voltage is 12.84 volts. And 
and there's zero percent, zero amp hour, all zeroed out. So the batteries passed the test. Based on the results of this test, I can conclude that the watt cycle 100 amp hour batteries indeed have at least 100 amp hours in them. In fact, they have more than that. And that's actually a very good thing for the customer. There's nothing worse than buying a 100 amp hour battery and finding out it's got about 90. These batteries absolutely have 100 amp hour, every bit of it. Plus they have a little bit of extra on top. And for that, I give them a thumbs up. I have fired up my Make Sky Blue charge controller and I'm now filling the batteries back up again. And then I'll continue on from there. After completing the bench test of the watt cycle batteries, I installed them in an off electrical grid power system in my solar workshop with an inverter and charge controller. The full video of that install will be uploaded separately and a link will be placed in the description. I then tested them for several days running my air conditioner and various electronics and loads in the workshop. They worked very well and did not give me any problems at all. Therefore, I can recommend them. I do not receive any commissions for the sales of these batteries. If you'd like to purchase them, there is a 6% discount code and link in the description. Thanks for watching, and thanks to WattCycle for the sample batteries. Hope to see you next time.